Hello everyone, I'm Rhino Clavin with your Diz Daily Fix for Friday, June 16th, 2017, and here's what's happening today. The Disneyland Resort has finally confirmed opening dates for Disneyland Park's Rivers of America attractions. Um, all these areas had been closed at the beginning of 2016 uh, to make way for some Star Wars land uh, construction that was happening at the park. Um, the first of the attractions to open is going to be the rafts to Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer's Island, which returns today... Friday, June 16th, um, which makes me very happy because this is something I've never done, and I always like to have a little a little something new to do every time I go to Disneyland, so very exciting. Uh, the remainder of river traffic, including the Mark Twain Riverboat, Sailing Ship Columbia, and David Crockett's Explorer Canoes will return July 29th, a bummer, right after I leave for D23, but... Uh, the Disneyland Railroad will also once again uh, circle Disneyland Park beginning that same day, July 29th, including a trip through the newly restored Grand Canyon and Primeval World. Um, an updated Fantasmic with new scenes including Aladdin and the Lion King is also scheduled for Disneyland's 62nd birthday, July 17th, 2017. I'm super excited to see this, or at least I'm hoping I can extend my D23 stay at least one more day because Fantasmic is phenomenal, and hopefully we can have a video on the site for all you folks who can't make it out to Disneyland to check that out. Uh, beginning uh, June 19th, which is this coming Monday, a Disney PhotoPass service camera will be capturing the snapshots of guests voyages on the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction in Magic Kingdom Park. Um, it was only a matter of time till this this attraction got a, uh, a photo pass area, but to preview, purchase, and download this attraction photo, you must be wearing an active magic band that is linked to your My Disney Experience account. Uh, your photo will automatically be associated with your account where it can be viewed at MyDisneyPhotoPass.com and in the My Disney Experience mobile app. And apparently I'm going to have to start wearing my magic band in the park again, uh, just as I was getting rid of the tan line. Oh, well. Um, finally, this Sunday, June 18th, is Father's Day, um, and both Disneyland Resort and Walt Disney World Resort have special offerings for uh, all the dads out there. So over in Disneyland at Downtown Disney, um, there's going to be special meal offerings at ESPN Zone, Naples Ristorante de Pizzeria. Uh, the Italians hate me, Catal, Uva Bar, and more. There are also some special merchandise offerings happening at, at Chappelle Hats and Ride Makers, um, but you can check out the full listings of those offerings on www.info.com. Uh, here at Walt Disney World, some exciting stuff too. At Morimoto Asia, you can get a free beer with an entree purchase. I recommend the duck over there. Um, at STK, dads receive one complimentary pop Sickle. Now, this is a bourbon in champagne glass with orange bitters ice cube. Oh, that sounds delicious. That's in addition to a special takeaway gift, too. So, um, there's also a bunch of other limited time offerings just for Father's Day listed um, on the site. Um, also, it, it's in a great article that Jackie Gailey put together. Props to her because she also lists a bunch of things that dads just might want to do that's a normal thing at Walt Disney World. So, check out that article on www.info.com. Um, our featured article of the day on www.info.com, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this website, um, it comes from Brittany Vickers, who lists six reasons adults should go to Walt Disney World. So you can check out that article, many other great ones on, you guessed it, www.info.com. Now, our uh, trending on the Diz boards today is a thread where poster Homer1234 asks if guests should skip Fast Pass on some rides or not. Uh, attractions with awesome standby queues such as Flight as Passage are being discussed, along with strategies on seeing the queues by heading to the parks earlier in the morning. Um, you can look for this thread on the Theme Parks Attractions and Strategies Forum at DizBoards.com. Join in on that discussion. Um, already out on our YouTube channel today, youtube.com slash Diz Unplugged, is Diz Pop, hosted by myself. And in this episode, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and feelings on the Cars franchise as a whole, as well as a review on the brand new Disney Pixar Cars 3, which hits theaters today. Um, you might be surprised about some of the things I have to say about it, so be sure to check that out, youtube.com slash Diz Unplugged, or on the iTunes feed that I am positive you are already subscribed to. Look at me. You are. Um, now, finally, everyone's favorite part of the show, the weather. Uh, Anaheim today, tomorrow, the whole weekend. It's looking beautiful. Sunny with a high right around 90. Lows in the mid-60s. Very nice. Today, tomorrow, and it seems like forever. Here in Orlando, it's thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 80s. Lows in the mid-70s. And my advice, get to the park first thing in the morning. Enjoy plenty of those hours of sunshine that you can before it starts storming. Take a break. Then go back later at night where it's going to be a lot cooler and a lot less busy because everyone will have fled the park in their garbage bag ponchos. Now, for links to everything that was discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at 
wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. That's going to do it for me today. I hope you all have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to my father, um, my stepfather, Jeff, and my grandfather, everyone out there. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Thank you.